Using the percent circle. The percent circle is a memory aid for solving percentage problems. You're going to find that you really enjoy using the percent circle as soon as you have it committed to memory because it will solve all kinds of problems for you with percentages in them. If you look at the percent circle, there are several things that you need to know about it. The top is a P. This stands for part or part of the total. The T stands for the total. The per this sign obviously stands for the percent of the total. And you have some other symbols that are a little bit hidden, but you have to be careful to include them in your problem. This X is not put here randomly. The X on that line means to multiply. And as you might expect, this horizontal line means to divide. When we're doing problems, we're going to try and keep all five of these regions of the percent circle in mind. We're going to start using the percent circle by taking a look at a problem that I have written on the board. The problem says, what is 10% of 350? The thing that we're looking for in this problem is the part. And the way I know that is because I have the percent and I have the total. So when I do this problem, the circle is going to become my very best friend. I know I want the part, so I will cover the part with my hand and look at the remainder of the problem. It says take the percent times the total. So I want to take the percent times the total to get the part. If I do that, I have to identify the percent, here it is, and the total. So for this problem, I will take 10% times the total. Now once I have my problem written down here, I can just use the skills that I have learned about changing this to a fraction or changing this to a decimal to solve the problem. I think I'll do it by changing it to a decimal. I know 10% is 0.1. I have 0.1 times 350. If I do this problem, I have 350 times 0.1. Multiplying by 1 is an easy enough thing to do. I just have to remember I've used one decimal place, so I'll count in one from the right and put the decimal place here. So what is 10% of 350? The part of 350 that represents 10% is 35. Using this, this circle, I covered the part, I did percent times total, and when I did that, the answer came out to be the part. Let's do another problem using the percent circle. In this problem, we're asking for different information and we've been given different information. But once again, the percent circle is going to come to our rescue. If we read the problem, what percent of 200 is 50, it's identified immediately that percent is the thing I'm looking for. What percent? In the percent circle, I'm going to cover up the percent sign and I see that I need to take the part divided by the total. With the percent sign covered, I want the part divided by the total. I need to identify in the rest of the problem what is the part and what is the total. A helpful hint of, for this is when you see the word of, that will help you to identify the total. So if you have of, 200 is the total. The other thing I need to look for in my formula is the part. So I'm going to look at the number 50. It is the part. The formula using the circle tells me to find percent, I want to take the part divided by the total. So I will take 50 divided by 200. An easy way to do this is to begin by reducing the fraction. 50 over 200 reduces to 1 fourth. Now I'm looking for percent, so I'm going to have to do a division problem here. This is 1 divided by 4, so I'll take 4 into 1. I notice when I try and divide 4 into 1, there is no number that goes into 1 evenly, so I need to add a decimal point and some zeros. Since I'm looking for a percent, I will add two zeros. Remember, when you put a decimal point in a division problem, it needs to be in the same place in the answer. 4 does not go into 1 evenly, but 4 will go into 10. It goes into 10 two times. 2 times 4 is 8. Then we'll subtract, 
and bring down the next number. 4 goes into 20 5 times. 5 times 4 is 20. And when you subtract, you get 0. So I know that 1 fourth is equal to 0.25, and 0.25 is equal to 25%. So 50 is 25% of 200. We've used the percent circle to find percent. When we cover percent, we took the part over the total. In our next example, we're going to use the percent circle to help us find the total. In the problem we have written on the board, it says if 25% of the cost was $500, what was the total cost? The total cost is the thing that's missing from this problem. It's the thing I want to find. If I come to the percent circle, I'm going to cover up the total cost. And I notice I have part over percent left. Part divided by percent will give me the total. When I come down to the problem, it's easy to locate the percent in this problem. It says 25%. So there's the percent that I'm going to use in the problem. Remember that I have covered up the total. I know I want the part divided by the percent. I want the part divided by the percent. In this case, the part was $500 divided by the percent, divided by 25%. To do this division problem, I'm going to change 25% to a decimal. So I'll have 500 divided by 0.25. Let's do the work of this problem over here. I have 0.25 into 500. I know that to divide by a decimal, I need to move the decimal point two places to the right. So I'll move the decimal two places to the right. I want to divide by a whole number. Of course, I have to compensate for that, so I'm going to move the decimal in this problem two places to the right. When I do that, there isn't anything here, so I need to put in zeros as placeholders, and I'll put my decimal at the end of it. Now I'm dividing 25 into 50,000. 25 goes into 50 two times. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. When I subtract, I get 0. I'll bring down a 0, and I know that 25 goes into 0, 0 times. I'll bring down the 0. 25 goes into 0, 0 times. And I'll bring down the final 0, and 25 still goes in 0 times. So 500 divided by 0.25 is equal to 2,000. In my problem, I had the part $500 divided by the percent 25%, and my answer, the total, is $2,000. This means $500 is 25% of the total of $2,000. I use the percent circle to find the total by taking the part divided by the percent.